I don't even know if I want to do an intro for this, man. Fuck it, man. Good evening and welcome to Macon's Minute. I'm your host, Tony Anthony Macon, here to discuss all things popping. Tonight's subject, Daniel Caesar, a.k.a. Coon de la Creme. Oh, we got to get this nigga some work. We got to get this nigga some work, man. We got to get this nigga some work. I'm on, uh, I was on Twitter minding my business. And I always look at the uh, trending topics. And uh, came across a new name for me. I was unaware of this guy, uh, a singer. Actually, I'll take that back. I heard about him, but I didn't pay attention, any attention to it. I heard Dave Chappelle call someone very, very gay. And, you know, I, I was like, I, I looked at it and I said, oh, that's Dave Chappelle, that's a comedian. If anyone's up in arms, they're being too sensitive because it's a act of comedy. So I did not check into it. I didn't even attempt to look at it until today after I saw why this Daniel Caesar guy was trending. And that's when I found out about the whole Dave Chappelle thing. And it was crazy because it was all in good fun. And and then as I watched Daniel Caesar's current video, his IG live video, in which he was intoxicated, again, as he was intoxicated in the Dave Chappelle video with John Mayer, oh, racist ass. We haven't forgot about you, John Mayer. I don't care if, Jay, John, if Dave Chappelle is your friend and Daniel Caesar's your friend. You've also made some questionable comments, buddy. Not going to let you off the hook all of a sudden. No, no. But anyway, I lost my train of thought, but uh, let's get it back. Let's get it back. Let's get it back. Let's get it back. Mm. Harlem Hospitals is giving beds out. Harlem Hospitals is giving beds out. Ah, we back to it. We back to it. So yeah, I watched the video. John Mayer, Dave Chappelle, yet uh, um, Daniel Caesar, and the little incident. What happened? But after watching this video I, on IG Live, Daniel Caesar's IG Live video, it's almost it's crazy. It's it's, it's like he's still butthurt about the. Dave Chappelle incident. However, his caping in this video should have nothing to do with his situation of being butt hurt with Dave Ch what, what, what Dave Chappelle said. Somehow, he made the two correlate. Without further ado, let's watch this video as a team. Let's see how right here. Let's watch this together. All right, now, the craziest thing about this is I actually had this uh, up and ready to go. And uh, da, 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 da. that's my elevated music. Ba, da, da. My call waiting music. Ba, do, 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 do. Ba, da, da. Okay, we got it. We popping. Let's get it. Why? Are there black people in this chat right now? I can't tell. Oh, yeah, we here. I'm not sure there is. I love you guys. Yo, you guys are listening, and I love you guys so much, but... You'll love us. We're, like, talking about something serious, so I'm, like, I don't want to talk about shows or, like, being, you know, like, artist stuff. Why? I don't know which black people are in here, but I want you guys to talk up my now. Come on, speak. Why 
why are we being so mean to Jules? Now, when he said that, he meant, yes, Jules. Yes, Jules is a failed uh, uh, white rap artist um, who has been in a lot of uh, controversy because of her remarks she has made uh, mainly uh, uh, regarding black women. Uh, if you you can look her up, uh, she's she's been on Twitter and where she made a remark. Uh, uh, she had the crop top. She posted a crop top that said "niggas lie a lot," and she asked if she could wear it. She also made a tweet where it was called "white thoughts," in which she uh, took some shots at black women. And she has a, 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 a freestyle with Soldier Boy in which she was rapping some wor lyrics that were very controversial towards the black race. So we have all rights to be mean to that bitch. Yeah. It's not too many times I call anybody a bitch, but when they're deserving of being called a bitch, I will call them a bitch. I don't typically call anyone a bitch like that, but we, we yeah, like I said... She she fits the bill. So we had all rights to be mean to that bitch. That's why we're being mean to her. Because of her racial undertones. Let's continue. Why are we being so mean to white people right now? Why are we being so mean to white people? Actually, we aren't mean to white people. White people have been extremely mean to us I'll get into that that's a serious question why is it that we're allowed to be disrespectful and rude to everybody else and when anybody returns any type of energy to us that's not that's not equality I don't want to be treated like I can't take a joke the gap between your teeth is an equal so I, I wouldn't expect you to know what equality is. You, you did, Roman. This little man. Let's go. I just went through that that the fucking Chappelle shit, and I had to like in the moment acknowledge that I was being fucking sensitive. There it is, Chappelle. He still butt hurt about the Chappelle Dave Chappelle situation. Still. Take that on Dave Spell. It's a whole nother issue. This is not the same issue, homeboy. Let's continue. So you know what I'm saying? And I need to be able to take a joke just like everybody else. No, no yes, Jules wasn't doing jokes, bro. Come on. That's what it is. People are allowed to say what the fuck they want. And if I'm allowed to feel how I want, but it's like, am I going to fight them or am I going to accept what they have to say and keep it fucking moving? Why are, like, this doesn't, this is, I only treat people that I don't respect and don't think that. Wait, 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 wait. So, all right, so let's, let's, let's stop right there. See, the thing is, is we're not lying down for racism anymore. It's, we're in 2019. It's not happening. See, that that's, that's what we're not doing anymore. We're not, we're not just going to keep lying down for racism. We got a voice. We got to speak on it. All that old shit in the past. See, that's why the ADOS movement is so strong right now. American descendants of slaves. Uh, I encourage you to check out Yvette Brown. Um, Tone Talks. Um, Tariq Nasheed. People that are, are, are driving the movement of reparations as well as tangibles for the black movement. Because this, this old way of thinking is just not working anymore. It's just not. Let's continue. Fucking say my honest opinion around. 
Who's less than you, Captain Bucky O'Hare? Hmm? Your honest opinion around who? How are we even here sitting there talking about... See, that was another thing, too. He was drunk when he was on John Mayer's podcast. He's drunk again in front of this. Somebody even take, take the liquor away from him. Let's continue. That's disrespect. And white people, have, I see what you're saying. White people haven't been to us in the past. I have a, like, what do you... White people have been mean to us in the past. Nigga, they still mean. What are you talking about? He's a black guy from Canada. I think uh, someone was saying he never really have, has been around black people. You're not getting a pass on this, though. Because I'm sure I've been in Canada. I know racism exists in Canada, Canada as well. Redlining exists in Canada just like it does here. White people are still mean. White supremacy is mean. I'm not going to say all, because it's, no, it's not. I don't have to say that because white people who aren't mean know they're not mean. So I'm not going to even have to sit here and, and break that down. But white supremacy is real. And with that being said, let me give you an example of what's mean. Redlining, systematic racism, the wealth gap, employment, education, criminal justice system, housing. Yeah. Yeah. This is what we go through. Let's continue. AUS movement. The AUS movement. Wait, wait. Some whole ass nigga behind him said bridging the gap. And, I, and I, the whole time, he, when he said that, I'm sitting there thinking like, bridging the gap? Nigga, bridge the gap between your teeth. Fuck do you mean bridging the gap? Bridge the gap between those buckshots and that Simon Phoenix fade. Come on, bro. Yeah, that's enough of that. That's enough. That's enough. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, that shit pissed me off. Power to the people. We back do maintenance. Yeah, yeah. We gonna rock like crack when it came in. And you gonna love it. Oh, man. This this, this guy, my, he, he, he got my boy, my blood boiling. This was very upsetting. Because that's the youth. Someone said to me, they was like, and, and I got to go into that too. Because in my last video, I talked about Jess Hilarious. And I said she needed to be educated for the things she said. One, the reason why I wasn't as hard on, uh, on Jess Hilarious as I am on this motherfucker, false, is because one, Jess Hilarious wasn't taking shots at the black community. First and foremost, if anybody's gonna be in a support section, it has to be the people that she knows who, who, who she can deal with. But two, she came from a place of ignorance and fear, which technically, those stereotypical fears have been planted by the country she lives in. You say stereotypes of black people could be planted by the country we live in. That's, that, that's, that's some truth to that. But the difference was, was when he stepped on his camera to talk, he stepped on the camera to, to speak as if he was educating us on something so he had full awareness of what he was doing caping from caping for some goofy looking white chick yes Jules 
caping for some goofy looking white chick on the murder mook side of the game with his bitch ass caping tough yeah that's that's the difference he jumped all the way out the window to shit on the black people in, in the public eye as if it was going to be some awakening moment that's my issue very upset very upset <sighs> y'all did back to back videos baby we dropped the video two days in a row don't call me put some respect on my name but yeah I had to get that off my chest I had to talk about it man I had to talk about it I had to talk about it um, I'll be back again tomorrow. Fuck it. I'm, 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 I'm going to talk some more shit tomorrow. Stay tuned. Be in. This has been another Make It's Minute. I, um, I appreciate those who show your boy love. Reach out and comment. Uh, give me constructive criticism. I'm not always right. You know what I mean? I understand that. And if I'm wrong, I'll admit it. <laughs> and I'll talk about it. You won't see me <laughs> boohooing and crying and apologizing about it. But I'll, I'll, I, if I'm wrong, I'll, I will speak on and admit to being wrong. So I appreciate the ones. Uh, the homie uh, Shabon reached out today and gave me uh, a <laughs> Let me know about the uh, 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 la latest video I did. Also, um, my man Speak Rock. Speak Rock. That's, I, I... <laughs> my man is doing some wonderful things. Speak Rock. His YouTube channel is Speak Rock. Check it out, man. Check it out. Uh, before I get out of here. Uh, well, this episode has been brought to you by Dr. Not Who. Fellas, get at me. You want to lay it down. All natural substances. Get your woman right. I feel like you're 19 again. Tony, T-O-N-Y dot M-A-C-O-N, the number seven at gmail.com. Hit me up behind the scenes. Peace.